I'm Dawn, this is Hudson Vintage. Today we are doing another personal style tutorial. This week it is how to wear vintage dresses in modern ways. We have seven vintage dresses from the 1980s and we are mixing them with one of a kind vintage accessories and modern elements to create timeless looks. We did each dress at least two ways. So we could call this seven vintage dresses 15 ways, but it's probably really more than that. I will just give you a sneak peek of each one. The first one I saw within the last year, I saw one of these on first dibs. This is a 1980s Laura Ashley. There's at least three layers of petticoats in here. Wait until you see this on. And I did this two very different ways. One is more night, one is more day. This is what the label looks like on this. I know you guys it's important to show you the labels. So that's the Laura Ashley 1980s label. This is another one. This is also Laura Ashley 1980s. This is very British looking. This is that pinwheel cord in a cherry print and there's the label there. This is this is 80s does 40s with that peplum, very typical of like the 1980s trend, that 40s revival that was happening. This is, this is so free people right now, that mix of uh, linen and cotton, that, that nubby fabric, and this is a hint of one of the outfits that we put together with that one. This is German, this is washed silk, and this reminds me so much of that free people dress that was out last year. I think it was called the fall in love or the fall in love again dress or something with the puff sleeve and the little tie, except that this is washed silk and it's absolutely beautiful on. And not to be outdone, this is the original Betsy Johnson punk label snap dress. I bought this at the Betsy boutique on 61st street. I actually worked there for one day. <laughs> which is a whole other story, but if you want to see the punk label, I will definitely let you have a look at that. And this I did at least two ways. And then finally, this is actually my favorite. This is the Catherine August. This is called the Forever Dress. And they came in these big bold prints and they always had these. And that's at least two different ways. And I just wanted to give a Quick mention to this jacket, this is a deconstructed 1980s. Um, this was made by the company that did the fabrications for Chanel and it has the gold chain, but I totally deconstructed it myself and I made this. And I don't know how it's coming out on camera, but this is one of those projects I did a long time ago that I still really love. Please don't forget to click like, subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss out when I make a new video. You can email me at hudsonvintage at me.com if you have any questions or if you like the jewelry in the video, it is for sale. Just email me at hudsonvintage at me.com. I also have a Patreon with four tiers that I just started. The first one is $3. So there's something there for everyone from the casual collector to hang out and meet other collectors and buyers and sellers right up to the top tier, which is for professional sellers. You can contact me on Instagram and Facebook as well, and my handle there is Hudson Vintage. Thank you so much for watching. Next week we do another jewelry video. Please click like, subscribe, ring the bell. See you next time, thanks. This is the Laura Ashley pinwheel corduroy with the puff sleeve and the really high armholes which are very British and make your arms look very skinny which I will never complain about and the hat is really the hero here they've been making this hat forever I've had it forever it has been washed and worn a million times and this hat holds any shape you want I will definitely put a link in the description box below I have it with the skinny jeans you will be seeing over and over again and the same red patent leather wedges.
This necklace is one of my favorites. This coin on a watch fob style chain. Very 1980s brushed gold. This has almost a green cast to it. And I think that's Elizabeth. It's been a while since I really looked at it. Um, that is $75 if anybody wants it. Act fast. I've put it with some over-the-knee boots here. These are from Macy's a little bit over a year ago. And these are ultra contemporary, a very modern heel, just brings everything up to date, gives it that prairie vibe. And the chunk of the heel also really balances out the proportion. Yes, this is the vintage Betsy Johnson dress. This I got, it, was, it might have been 60th Street now that I think about it. Anyway, it was off of Lexington. It was her boutique. Back then she used to say that she wanted to be the McDonald's of dresses. I think she achieved that. And I have it with some modern Vince Canudos. The hat is H&M. This necklace is Art Deco. Some people call it French jet. It's black glass and it is absolutely lovely. It has those faceted elongated beads. This belt I got in Bloomingdale's. I was wearing this dress when I bought it. Look what it does to the hip line. It just evens out that exaggerated hip line and smooths everything, makes it much more proportionate. It's a hip belt. I love it with these red wedges, and those are vintage Ray-Bans, my boyfriends. Okay, Floral Lore Ashley, look how pretty the violet print. I have them over the cropped skinny jeans again with a vintage 1960s straw hat. Also very of the moment to free people. And these are my favorite shoes right now. These are cut out Oxfords in two-tone silver and black leather. These are vintage Charles Jordan and some old Nine West fingerless gloves. That was a collab with Dacoon. And, uh, Look at those shoes. They don't make them like that anymore. Those are also 1980s. I've switched to the H&M hat. And we just went from day to night. I will put a link to similar gloves. I've gotten some on Amazon that are very similar. Really nice leather. Just a really pretty, this could be day, it could also be date, or day date. Love the violet shoe. That pretty little necklace has pressed flowers in it. That's vintage 1970s, it's silver. That's $75. This is the 80s does 40s peplum dress. This is rayon crepe. And I have it with the boots from Macy's again.
We've added the H&M hat and my trusty black leather OB belt. That is so useful. I cannot recommend it enough. Those are probably 10 year old shoes. Those are also Komodo. Those are uh, glitter heels, but the shape of the heel really makes this modern. This is a forever dress. I've added the studded belt. This is also 1980s. It has the faceted brass star and I'm adding the faceted black beads and I love the way this is sort of pattern repeating and it keeps the eye moving and if you are dressing to keep the eye moving you are always going to look better than if you end up having the eye stick anywhere. The necklace is $100 and it's about 100 years old so about a dollar a year I thought would be fun. This is actually named the Forever Dress. This is early 80s, Catherine August with an O. And I'm using the sash as a scarf. That's the 60s hat with a little blue ribbon. These are the same skinny jeans I've had forever. And I'm wearing it with some loafers from H&M that are copies of Everlane. And we're turning this into a hat band. So cute. Can't you just feel the breeze going through this dress? Very easy breezy almost a 1960s caftan shift sack, but it is 1980s, and I love it with the rosy loafers. And of course, the easiest, most flattering way to wear it is using the sash as the belt, and still comfortable, still cool. And the washed silk dress with the puff sleeves and this beautiful heavyweight silk demisk. I put it with the modern heeled boot and the hat. And that hat shapes to any shape that you want. I'm putting it with a new Banana Republic belt that is teal leather and glossy blue. And I love the shiny blue buckle with the matte blue of the silk and the tonal qualities of the teal and the blue together. And the hat and the heel of the boot really balance it out. Look at these wonderful, those are Dan Post. I thrifted those. Yes, those are teal Dan Post cowboy boots. And look at them with the belt. And now for a variation on the look. We can open up the skirt, unbutton it all the way, 
and the same jeans you've seen before. Totally different look with the open dress. This, is, this can also be worn completely open with a little camisole or something underneath. This is that mauve nubby linen cotton blend dress. I have it with a stretch indigo straw belt from the same era. The Vince Camuto shoes are back and the H&M hat. And I'm adding the vest because I like the structure. I feel like it looks better on my body type. This is a reversible denim pieced vest. It's Norma Kamali and it's frayed at the bottom. And the final variation, why not belt the vest in that indigo stretch straw with the brass really balances it out. Thank you for watching.